So I've been trying to rekindle my interest in uh, tabletop role-playing games. Uh, and uh, I'm lacking the time and the energy to really get into some of the old crunchy games that I, that I used to enjoy. So I've been looking into some of these minimalist games. Um, and uh, one of the ones I just picked up a little bit ago is this uh, Tiny Dungeon. And uh, it uses the Tiny D6 system. Super minimalist. Uh, like I said, probably the, the, the least amount of rules you could have and still call it a game. Uh, leans very heavily into the narrative. Um, requires a lot from the game master and the players as far as uh, uh, figuring out what to do. But it makes it insanely flexible, obviously. I mean, you can do whatever you want and just you know adapt to it. Um, the only thing I don't care for in this is the magic system, and that's personal preference. I mean, it, it's, it's very well balanced. And the system itself is like super elegant. I really like the entire system. But the magic is just not to my taste. And I think it's primarily a lack of imagination on my part more than anything. I kind of like having things, everything just laid out, and there it is, boom, 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 you know. Uh, but I, I really enjoy the system. So I picked up a couple more in the series. Uh, so I got this one, Tiny Cthulhu. And it's uh, kind of a horror uh, series with the, using the same mechanics, uh, or a horror game using the same mechanics. And you've got the, the, the ancient evil investigating and whatnot. And I haven't had a chance to read through it yet. But uh, I, I just flipped through it very briefly. Um, I, I like the art and the layout and everything. It's, it's a really neat neat little book. And, and uh, as I said, I, I just flipped through it. I'm going to start reading through it and get a handle on it. But uh, again, the, the system itself is so elegant. Um, and I, I think it's going to be really nice. Uh, in this genre, they've got a whole bunch of uh, they've, they've got books on uh, just about any kind of gaming genre you can think of, um, and I'm just not particularly interested in most of the others, you know, the post-apocalyptic or some of the others. Uh, but uh, I, I, I'm big uh, fan of Lovecraft's writings, and uh, I've got a couple of the I've got Call of Cthulhu, and I've got some other uh, uh, Cthulhu-based games or whatever or Lovecraftian games, uh, and so I picked this one up, um, and uh, this should be fun. And as I said, the only thing I didn't care for and again just personal preference that's all was the magic system in this um lacking that particular type of magic system i think this ought to be just about perfect as far as i'm concerned the other one i picked up is because i'm a big fan of science fiction science between is tiny frontiers and again it's the same uh tiny d6 system only in a science fiction setting uh and uh again i started reading through this and uh they've got the different aliens and whatnot and one of them that i ran across that is i, I think just really keen is the Salamar. So one of the alien species in here is the Salamars. And this is, they've got the same species in Tiny Dungeon as a fantasy species, which I think is just really cool. So you can have your fantasy Salamar go to space or whatever. Uh, but same thing, uh, minus minus the magic, um, this ought to be just absolutely perfect for me. Uh, and uh, they've, got, uh, they've got a whole... Uh, set of rules for spaceships and and, and for uh, spaceship combat and whatnot and um it just but again uh it does require a fair amount of work from the gm and the players um and it's, it's very narrative <laughs> i get a kick out of people complaining about how this doesn't allow for you know campaigns or whatever are you kidding that's what this is based on it's getting the rules out of the way so the narrative and the campaign and everything becomes uh the whole thing but it does require some imagination, requires some work on the part of the, as some engagement on the part of the game master and the players. Um, but uh, but it, 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 because the rule system is so quick and simple, um, it, it just it it doesn't require a ton of time memorizing rules. Combat is quick and easy. Um, you, you know, anytime you're settling something with the dice, uh, it, it it doesn't bog things down. It moves along very quickly. So uh, that, that's really neat. But again, I had a chance to flip through it. I have a chance to really read it. Uh, but I'm looking looking forward to it. I've been impressed so far. As this, as I keep saying, uh, it's a, that Tiny D6 system is really elegant. Uh, and a lot of thought has gone into these. Uh, the balance seems to be really good on them. Um, and I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, reading through them and playing them for sure.